Hello everyone. So today I want to share with you guys what's blooming in the garden. I had a video that I did back in the fall of 2018 on about some poppy seeds that I was growing. Some of the seeds were old, some of the seeds were a little bit newer, but I actually got blooms. This is the second go uh, of the poppy seeds. They actually bloomed earlier and I cut back some of them. So see, see these are some pieces here that need to be cut back so I don't want them to go to seed yet. Um, but they are actually gorgeous. They're about maybe about two inches in length and width and I've had some that actually have bloomed. All right, moving on in the garden and these are some Gerberia or Gerber, I think it's Gerberia daisies and I actually got these on clearance for just a dollar a plant and I got four of them. I love the bright red. I think they're actually just absolutely beautiful. These are my Shasta daisies and I actually had grown these from seed many years ago and I divided the plant out. This doesn't belong in this bed. I keep saying I'm going to move it but every time I've tried I keep leaving a piece and it comes back every year. So this is year three and yeah they're doing pretty well so I'm going to go ahead and take the seeds from this and spread them down in my wildflower garden. Moving on. This is becoming the end of my day lilies, but this is one of the most beautiful buttercup yellows. And uh, I've been deadheading the plant, as you can see over there, and so I only have a couple left now. But I'm hoping that maybe since I've been deadheading that I can get a little bit more. But it's been so rainy here that I don't think the day lilies like this extra rain. They like it a little bit more on the dry side. Okay, so here's another flower pot of flowers and I have some white impatience here that I actually got on the clearance for a dollar and I have these baby breath that I actually started from seed and these are supposed to be a lissom. This is a little mixed border little flower pot. This is a little container garden of mixed flowers. And I would be remiss if I didn't share with you my lavender plants. They are so humongous literally um, as you can see they are filled with bees honeybees bumblebees and carpenter bees and additionally some little flies seem to like them too it's over time to harvest them i am going to harvest them very soon because if i harvest them now i'll get another show in september and there's the other one right there here is one of my newest additions to my flowering garden is this Red Beauty Hydrangea. I could not pass it up in the store, so I had to bring it home. I wanted you guys to see how really beautiful it is. There's another show here. As you can see, my soil here is still sort of clay, um, but I'm going to amend it with compost and other organic matter. And I live in an area where the soil stays somewhat acidic, so most of the hydrangeas here naturally turn blue. I'm hoping that this red beauty will hold its staying power and keep true to this beautiful red. This would be my only red hydrangea in my garden. Again, it's just breathtaking. And it just rained here. So everything is really, really nice. Alright, so this is my container garden bed area. And I have these beautiful, they call it like a desert road. They're a succulent-like plant. And they bloom these beautiful red flowers. I have the red variety that open in the morning and during the hot sun. And then they close up at night. So here's a pot of marigolds that I actually got on the clearance for a dollar. It was a cell pack of four. I had two that survived and um, two that died. So it was truly worth a dollar. And I have it growing right here next to my zucchini. And so I figured some color next to the garden will actually help to get pollinators over toward The cannas are also blooming. Here are some cannas that I planted um, right by the brick of my house and 
normally cannas are not hardy in zone 7, but these come back every year without effort, and I just love them.